What's that you say? There's a quirky, cool new internet show. Featuring rising stars and living legends too. It's a life, fun time, and full of... Oh, Rame, we got another repeat of Heather on our show today. And it is Rocktober, Uno, and it's Puma. Puma, Puma. Hi. How are you? I am pretty good, I think. How are you? I'm good. It's always a pleasure. So nice are you going to gonna recite too. something for us? You want me to recite something? You know what? Want to hear something funny? I do. I forgot all my books, but I could make something up. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> You're like, that's it's a freestyle. But you know, yeah, I'm going to do this thing because I've been talking to some friends and a lot of people, like, they kind of label me like I'm this like rock and roll poet. I'm like this punk poet. And it's very hard to explain to people that when we were first in the Lower East Side, it was very pre-punk, very pre-crusty, very pre-everything. And nobody knew what we were. There were no labels. There was no such thing, you know? So th this piece that I'm working on in my head, which is partially in Ruby Churn, is called Walls. We, we were just there. Nobody knew we were there. It was post Woodstock. It was after the mud and the blood and the beer, and it was after Jimmy played the Star Spangled Banner and when the sun was coming up. And it was after the guy who would one day be my husband stood there in his motherfucker collars with his arm around the waist of another motherfucker chair. It was after that. We were just there. There was no word for homeless. Abandoned buildings were not called squats. We didn't know nothing about any type of Mohawks or, 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 or silver or studs. We just wore the shit that we found in the stream. And then later, a lot of people kind of looked like us, but we were just there. We were in the rooftops, we were in the hallways, we were in the parks. And later, the leaders climbed the mountains, and we, was, and we were still just there. And don't look at me with these sad eyes. Because I don't think you'll ever understand that now, today, in the safety of my concrete walls, in the silence, when I lie in bed alone and I am still there, the blessing that that is to me each night. You know, that's, that's really um, accurate, and all I can think about are, like, the, the ones today can film it on their iPhones and post it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you know, like, that. yeah, like now, you know, to do we had, we had no We phones. didn't have that. That's what, but that's what I'm yeah, thinking, yeah, like, we no phones. Have a dime for the well, like, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's changed so much. But you know, there are so few people alive to tell these stories. You think? I know. Really? I, I was in, I had my show at the Barry Electric um, last Friday night. And I said, okay, if you know what UAW slash MF means, raise your hand. And there were three people that knew, and they were all my friends. So, uh. Yeah. Yeah. The people don't know. People really don't know how it was, and they don't really know how a lot of us kids were just used. Right. Yeah, you know, we didn't believe in anything. Like I said, we were just there. Yeah. <laughs> but look at you. You were like a vision of so much competence and so much creativity. And I, I don't know. I always look at you as as such an inspiring person because you're a mom, you, you're an artist, you always look good. And, yeah, <laughs> that's the most important thing. <laughs> it is. It is important. Fuck all that. I know. I know. My kids are grown. I don't yeah, you raise mom. them. Um, they raise themselves. A benign neglect. Well, authenticity. Yeah, but you, you know, but you're, but you're, we're here. Yeah, but you know, it's a funny thing about talk, talking about mothers because, like, there's assumptions, you know, like, you, you raise your kids, you're a mom, like, maybe not. Yeah. Yes, I agree to that too. 
Yeah, like like there's assumptions. Oh, my 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 mother, I loved her. Like I didn't love mine. Right. That, <laughs> that, you know. So that could yeah, happen. like like mo like mother is like Christianity. No, it isn't something. because the mother yeah. is just a person who happened to have a child. I I totally yeah. know that. Yeah, I know. I totally yeah. understand that, and um, and I know that that is true, but I also do know that I. I, I saw you the first time at a Mama Palooza thing. And so That's true. Maybe that is why I think of that. Um, well, my kids still speak to me like they actually like me. So, so, so it's that. not all horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what day it is for me. Oh, yeah. Well, and he's a dad. Yeah. Well, mine are a little older than yours, I think. So. Yeah, I really? I've got a 16 year old. Oh, yeah. 25 is my oldest. Yeah, exactly. Mine are over 30. Things keep changing. Yeah. Five wow. years ago, he wanted to kick my ass, you know, last week I was staying in his house. Who knows? Yeah, but that's just how the life goes. That's how life goes. Exactly, yeah. exactly, for all of us, every day. But today seems like a nice day. I kind of like the drizzle. I don't mind it at all. Do you like Rocktober? So I, I either like or don't like every month. It depends on that. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I'm very day at a time. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So um, when is your next performance? You know, oh, John Sinclair is coming to town. And yes. This, this is very cool. The John Sinclair, and you know, he blurred my book. And that was awesome for me because, like, those times I'm telling you about is when he was coming to town with the MC5 and they were taking over the film and I used to follow him around. And now I'm opening for him, so that's, wow, that's really cool. Good for you. Like, twice. I'm going to do some poems uh, solo for him October 18th at the Parkside, and then October 21st, thanks to our friend Ann Hussick. We got a two-hour slot. I'm going to do something with Puma Pearl and Friends, which is Jock Wilson that you just saw up here, Danny Ray, Walt Disney, and Angelo Oliveri. And then they're going to back John for another hour. How cool is yeah. that? Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yeah, and I yeah. think he's coming here, too. That's going to be um, the sidewalk, coming here right? is going to be suburban. Yeah, that one's yeah. a sidewalk. Making his rounds. And then the 24th, Ann and I have another show on sidewalk, so. Yeah. Sidewalk is back, thanks to Ann. Okay. Thanks to Ann. Yeah. Ann. We love you, Ann. And um, that sounds all exciting. So what's check you out? Oh, my, my totally unupdated blog is www.pumapearl.blogspot.com. And I try to keep all my videos and announcements on there. I'm a little behind. but yeah. I actually saw you. I did a segment on WTF-TV while waiting in, in the... Um the waiting hall that is M and N. I saw a little video. Oh, that's right. That's right. They, they, they video me from M and N. They put it on the show called Brain Candy. Yeah. Cool. So um, today happens to be, besides being National Kale Day and National Vegetarian Day, it's also National Homemade Cookie Day. So we have some homemade cookies, not by us, but by um, this one is Grandma Got Stuck in Traffic. And this one is Bubba is on a plane to Florida. So we have cookies for you. If you choose to share another goddamn skeleton. You know, you. I should just get the cookies like a I crate. Know. Of I give you the real skeleton. Yeah. I don't give you like That's a, a salt and eraser. You know, and I'm sitting there last night. I went to the Ace Hotel. I'm watching Lex interview uh, Mick Rock and Bob Gruen. And it was yeah. really cool. And all of a sudden, I remember, fuck, I need a skeleton. And I swept the oh, most heinous things I've done yeah. so I can really atone on Saturday. Oh. But so uh, I, I was caught between two. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you this Are one. Are you going to fast? I'll on give you this one. No, I'm going to pretend. Um, <laughs> I don't know you have a cookie? if you know the, <laughs> the late artist Martin Wong. I don't know if you're familiar with his work, but he was obsessed with certain writers and poets. And there was one particular one that he was obsessed with that appears in this work that I knew quite well. And at this particular time, he was on the West Coast. So when I needed some money, I kind of knew his style and his handwriting. Oh. I didn't plagiarize, I just sold the shit to Martin. And somewhere it's in archives, probably labeled as belonging to this other guy. Wow. But I told him I did it, and he was he was a dope, dope, and he was like, oh, do I get any money for it? I said, no. So that's, wow. that's a skeleton. Good for you. Good for Everybody's you. Everybody's dead, so what the hell. 
Oh, well, we're not. So no, which no, time do you want? There you go. She's taking a good one. So would you like to push a button? There you go. We're going to boing right out of here. Puma Pearl! Puma Pearl. Oh. We'll be right back. Place to get your 15 minutes of fame. Let me tell you, keeping it real, keeping it rude. Uh huh. It's through the eyes of Ruth. 